Good morning to you on this Monday morning. This week we're going to look at 1 John chapter 5. I'm going to read the first few verses. Overcoming the world. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and whoever loves the Father loves the child born of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and observe his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is the one who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. So John again equates loving God, keeping his commandments. Those two things go together. And believing that Jesus is the Christ. We, whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ, the Saviour, is born of God. Whoever loves the Father also loves the child born of him. We cannot know the Father apart from Jesus. So if we say we love God, we must love Jesus also. And we must love all his children. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and observe his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And then John says his commandments are not burdensome. They're not difficult to keep. They're not difficult to keep if we truly love God. Because then we are keeping the great commandment to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind and strength and our neighbour as ourselves. And if we do that, then the Ten Commandments nicely fall into place. If we love God and we love our neighbour, then it's not burdensome, it's not hard. We don't have to think, well, I'm not going to do this, this and this. It comes automatically because we love God. Remember, love is not an option. Love is a commandment. Whoever is born of God overcomes the world, and the victory that has overcome the world is our faith. We're going to talk a little bit more about overcoming the world in the next few days. But if we love God, we also love his children. First of all, we love his only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and then all who believe on him. Because all who believe on him, for as many as received him, he gave power to become the children of God. So that all who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ are our brothers and sisters. Together we are children of God. And we love God and we love one another and we should love everybody in the world. And it should not be burdensome because the Holy Spirit abides in our hearts and he is the one who loves through us. So we need to, as Paul reminds us over and over again, we need to walk in the Spirit. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We need to allow the Spirit of God to flow through us. And when he flows through us, it's not burdensome living for God. It's a blessing and it's a joy. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you for the weekend that has now passed and a brand new day, a brand new week. We ask your blessing over this working week. We ask, Lord, that you would fill us in you with your Holy Spirit. Lead us, guide us, show us your way. Help us to walk in your truth. May your light shine before our path every day that we know exactly where to go and what to do. May the words of our mouth, the meditation of our hearts be acceptable and pleasing to you, O Lord, our God and Redeemer. We proclaim that we love you, Lord, and we love our Lord Jesus Christ. We love you, Father. We love you, Son. We love your Holy Spirit. We love your children. We love everybody, Lord, with your love. May that love continually increase. May our faith increase. May our obedience increase. We humble ourselves before you. We realize we cannot do it on our own. We need you working through us. So fill us right now with your Holy Spirit. I pray for all who are listening, Lord, that you would touch them with your spirit right now. I pray, Lord, for those who still do not know you, that you would open their hearts to come to know you and to come to confess Jesus as Christ, as Lord and Saviour. Father, we pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who are mourning. We pray for those who are dying. We pray for those who are suffering in the Ukraine and other places at the hands of evil. We pray that you would destroy the works of the devil. We pray, Lord, that you would bring an end to these conflicts. We know that you are in control of all things and nothing happens outside of your purposes. And we know also that you work all things together for good to those who love you. We pray that more and more people out of this crisis would learn to love you and trust in you. Look to you and be saved. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So, Lord, we commit all to you. We pray that you would lead us, guide us, shape us, mould us, use us, love through us, touch through us. And here now, Lord, as we combine our prayers, our Father who art in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.